combination of capacitors. Combination of capacitors. Capacitors in series. When number of capacitors are connected such that the charge on every capacitor is same, then they are said to be connected in series combination. In the figure above, three capacitors of capacitance, C1, C2, C3, are connected in series. V is the potential difference across the circuit. A positive charge is given to the plate present on the left side of first capacitor C1. Then, due to the phenomenon of electrostatic induction, the other plates of the capacitors do get charged as shown in figure. Potential differences across the capacitors can be given as V1 equals to Q by C1, V2 equals to Q by C2, V3 equals to Q by C3. If the total capacitance of the whole circuit to be Cs, then V equals to Q by Cs. As V equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Therefore, Q by Cs equals to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3 equals to Q into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. 1 by Cs equals to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Equation 1. For n capacitors that are connected in series, then the equivalent capacitance will be 1 by Cs equals to sigma i equals to 1 into n of 1 by Ci. Thus, in series combination, the reciprocal of effective capacitance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the capacitances of individual capacitors. Capacitors in parallel. Capacitors are said to be in parallel if potential difference across each capacitor is same. In the combination, the figure below shows three capacitors having capacitances. C1, C2, and C3 being connected in parallel. The potential difference that is applied across the combination is V. As potential difference on each is same, the charges on them can be expressed as Q1 equals to C1 V, Q2 equals to C2 V, Q3 equals to C3 V. If Q is the total charge, then Q equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. If Cp is effective capacitance of the circuit, then Q equals to CpV. By substituting the values in the above equations, we get CpV equals to C1V plus C2V plus C3V. Taking V common from the above equations, if Cp equals C1 plus to C2 plus to C3, so the general expression which gives the resultant equation when n capacitors connected in parallel is Cp equals to sigma i equals to 1 to n of Ci. Taking